Let's look at this question, which is uh, a question on quadratic pattern. So let's read the question. Uh, Sarah uh, starts making a pattern of houses using toothpicks as shown in the diagram below. So these are toothpicks. So this is a design of a pattern of a house. So this is one house, this is two houses, and so on. So each of them is a toothpick. So this is a toothpick. This is one toothpick. And this is the other toothpick. Okay, so you got th three, four, five toothpicks here. Okay, so this is a, I made up it. Now this is I copied and pasted uh, from NZQ website, and this I have made I made up uh, one more here. So let me let us finish the table. Yes, and then we'll write the equation. Okay, so let's read the equation then. Give the rule for the total number of toothpicks that Sarah would need if she was to continue following the pattern and complete n designs. I'll come to explain this later. Use this rule to find the total number of toothpicks needed to complete the first 12 designs used by Sarah's pattern. So first let us make up the table. That's a good starting point. So this has got phi and you've got phi plus 4 which is 9. Okay, now you again you start with phi you got 4 and 4. This is again 5, 4, uh, 4, 4. Okay. So this is 4. This is a common one. Okay. This is a common one. So that's why 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, this is common. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So you keep on adding. So you got 5 plus 4 is 9 and then 5 plus eight is uh, 13 okay so this is increasing in four so this is increasing by four and this is a linear pattern okay so it keeps on uh, increasing so this would be plus four which is 17 which is 21 25 and 29 okay now this table is for the total number of toothpicks used that means if if she's making one design, she would need five toothpicks. If she's making one, the first design and the second design, so she would need five plus nine. So this is five. And this is, I'll write to explain five plus nine. If she makes two patterns, she has to have 13. Sorry, five plus nine is 14. So the next, she is needing 14 toothpick. Then she needs 5 plus 9 plus 13, which is same as 14 plus 13, which is 27. The next is 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus 20, 17, which is 27 plus 17, which is 27 plus 7 is 34, this is 44. Okay, and then you keep on adding 41 plus 44 plus 21 which is 65. I think this is enough. So let us finish the table. 65 plus 25 is, this is 80 and this is 90. And 90 plus 29. 90 plus 20 is 110. So 119. I'll first show you how to do this on a calculator. That's a bit sneaky way of doing it. But then I'll show you the real way. You should do the real way as a teacher. I always like my students to uh, do the algebraic way, the real way. Now, the question is, you want to find a relation between this, say, the number of, it says, the total number of toothpicks. So let us say this is T. You want to find a relation between T and N, which is the number of designs. So what is this? Let us understand this again. <coughs> this phi means if Sarah built only one design, she would need phi toothpick. If she made the first and the second design, she would need phi plus 9, which is 14, and so on. Okay. So I want to find the relation between phi, sorry, this t and n. So let me get the calculator out. Okay, so let me, so first you go to your stats menu, you have to go to your stats menu, and in list one you're entering 
this value that is n and in list 2 you are going to enter t. You need only to enter 3 but uh, let us enter 4. So we'll, in the first list I am going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4 every time you have to execute. And then you go to list 2, I am going to type in 5, execute, 14, execute, 27, execute and 44. I hope we have not done any mistake, 5 plus 9 is 14, that is right. Uh, if that is wrong, 14 plus 13 is 27 and 27 plus 17 is, yes, I think we are done right. Then you have to go graph it and then go to set. And we want to scatter, we want to draw a scatter graph. So this should be your setting of your graph. It should be, graph type should be scatter. X list is in list 1. This is your X list, which is N. Your Y list is T in list 2. Frequency should be 1. And mark type is the type of marking that you need for scatter graph. So let me draw the crosses. And let us graph that. The exit, yeah. Okay, graph and graph 1. So this is a quadratic pattern. I'll explain that because this is, if you look at the points, it's not a straight line. It's going in a, as like a curve. You can draw a curve. If you draw a curve like this, it'll go, I can't draw it yet. And then what you do is you press F1, which is calculate, and then I'll press F4, which is quadratic. So. So the calculator is telling me the equation of this t, y is t, your a is 2, your b is 3, and your c is 0. So my calculator is telling me t is equal to 2x squared plus 3x is the equation. So let me write that. Then I'll show you how to get that. 2x squared plus 3x. Don't worry about these r squared and msc. You will learn this later when you do year 13 uh, stats. This is 2x squared plus 3x. So let me write that. So I'm sneaking this out. T is equal to 2n squared plus 3n. So does it work? Let us check. So if you put 1 here, 2 times 1 squared is 2, plus 3 times 1 is 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. If you put 2 there, 2 times 2 squared, so first you have to do exponent, that is 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 plus, 8 plus 6 is 14. Okay, if you put 3 there, 2 times 3 squared, so 2 times 9 is 18, 18 plus, uh, so if n is 3, so let me do that, that is 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3. So it is 2 times 18 plus 9, which is uh, 18 times, oh, 2 times 9. <laughs> My brain is not working. 2 times 9, I'm going, that is 18 plus 9, which is 27. So this formula is right. We need to find the equation now. Okay, so let us do that. So let me show you. So we have done many videos of this type. Uh, so let us write n and t. Okay, so n is 1, 2, 3, 4. I think that is enough. Your t, we are writing this number, 5, 14, 27, 5, 14, 27, and 30, 34. Okay. Now to find a quadratic pattern, there's a there's a neat skill. You have to find two differences. So first find this is called the first difference. So this is increasing by nine. This is increasing by fourteen plus what is twenty-seven. Fourteen plus uh, how much? Fourteen plus thirteen. Am I right? Yeah. Fourteen plus thirteen is twenty-seven. And uh, yeah, this is increasing by 4. And 13, 27 plus 17, you can use a calculator if you don't know. So if I want to use a calculator, I don't know, but my brain at times doesn't work. So what would I do? If I want to know 4, 5 plus what is uh, 19, I'll go 14 minus 5 is 9. Uh, 27 minus 14 
is 13. 44 minus 27 is 17. So, so if you look at the second difference, the second difference if it is constant, so this is 4 and this is 4. This, the quadratic equation, if you, I had shown you on a calculator, let, the equation of a quadratic, sorry, the quadratic equation is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now this a, this a is always half of this second difference. So you can write this as a formula. A is always the second difference of the number pattern divided by 2. Okay. So I can say a should be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Okay. Now what does that mean? So I can say y. I can, I've got y is equal to, I can say it is 2x squared. y is equal to 2x squared. So let me delete this. I want this space here. Okay, hopefully you understood this. It's taking a long time. Okay, so let me bring a bigger eraser. So you understood A is. So we want to write T is your Y. Is we know it is 2n squared. Okay, no, I'll not write T here. Sorry. So I'll write here 2n squared first okay n is 1 so this is 2 times 1 squared is 2 2 times 2 squared so first two first you have to do the exponent 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 okay now 3 2 times 3 squared is 2 times 9 which is 18 and 2 times 4 squared which is 2 times 16 is 32 then I'm going to do this minus this. So what's this? T minus 2n squared. So 5 minus 2 is 3. 14 minus 6 is 8. 27 minus 18 is 9. And 44 minus uh, 369 should be 12. Can you see a pattern here? 3, 6, 9, 12. So can you find the relation between this and this? This 3, 6, 9, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. What do you find? What relationship is that? So, well, say you can, that is nothing but 3n. This is nothing but 3n. So, let me delete this now. Okay, I'll let it remain. I'm too excited now. So, yeah, if you look at these two numbers, this is 2n squared. I can cross this out, and this is your 3n. Now, if you add this to 2 plus 3 is 5. 8 plus 6 is 14, 18 plus 9 is 27, 32 plus. So I can say T as a formula is nothing but 2n squared plus 3n. So this is the quadratic formula. We have done both in the calculator and algebraic way. Now, finally, the question is use your formula to find if she has first 12 designs. She has made 12 designs. So n is 12. What should be the total number of toothpicks she needs? So n is 12. So what is my t is the question. Or what is Sarah's t? Okay, it's toothpick. Okay, so t is equal to 2 times 12 squared plus 3 times 12. I'll try to do without the calculator. So this is 2 times, you should not do this mistake, you should not multiply this 2, you have to do the exponent first, okay, so that is 2 times 144 plus, you have to multiply this first, that is 36, so this is 288 plus 36, uh, which is, uh, this is 4 to 324, we will check this answer on the calculator. Okay, so we are saying that's why the graphic calculator is so important. So I'll type in this equation 2x squared plus 3x. And I want to go up to, I want to go to look up your scale. I want to go from 0 to 15, say. Okay, scale of 1, that's fine. And on y axis, I have to go from 0 to, say, I want to go to 324. I'll go up to 350. Scale of 5. And then draw it. 
here is a graph. Okay? And I want to check when x is 12 is y324. So this is how you do it. G sol f6 y cal when x is 12. When x is 12, y is 324. So I'm pretty happy and I can give myself any number of ticks.